commentary. It helps us understand our great game. But there's some commentary that's rarely heard. The commentary inside the players' heads. In this series, we take you inside the demons' minds. The highs, the lows, and the psychological side of the game. This is the Melbourne Mindset, brought to you by IG. You're one of the best players the game has right now. You're always in the Brownlow conversation. You've won a best and fairest. You've been best on ground in a grand final with 39 possessions, the most ever in a grand final. You are at the elite level, but somehow the anxiety creeps in. It is incredible how it can affect you. No matter if you've played one game or played 500 games, there's always doubt and always expectation and pressure and internally more than externally. I think a competitors always put themselves um, they always, they always want to exceed more than they actually should, if that makes sense. They're yeah. never kind of, I'm never satisfied with what I've done. Like, I've yeah, obviously won a Norm Smith and a Premiership and the best and fairest, but the, the mindset of a competitor is, well, I want to win three best and fairest and I want to win three Premierships and, you know, I want to be a 10-time All-Australian. But I think, um, you know, sometimes you've got to actually sit back and kind of smell the roses a bit and actually sort of in a non-arrogant way, but appreciate what you've actually done because um, then that kind of makes you feel really grateful for the position you're in. Um, it's hard to get yourself into that mentality where you push everything that has happened away because it's uncontrollable and just look at the next contest. You're 100% right. It's something that, as our game, there's footy in general, probably out of any other sport in the world, there's mistakes every single everywhere. second, everywhere. Um, you know, I'm not the most perfect kick. The game is... The, the position I play is always contested. There's always going to be people hanging on to me, tackling me. So I'm always going to be making mistakes. So for me, it's, it is really, as you said, moving on as quickly as you can, focusing on the next, the next one, focusing on where I am, what are my feet doing, using my cues throughout the game uh, to kind of get me in those positions. And I guess for me as well, not necessarily looking at the outcome, kind of looking, or the result, looking at like the actual process and the opportunities that I'm getting around it. Ahead of the grand final in 21, how are you in terms of your mindset? I was really nervous for the game, um, but I never had doubt in that I could play or perform on those moments. I knew that I could, I could perform. I always have, growing up in big games, basketball or football, I felt like I've always, when the pressure kind of has increased, I've always felt like I've gone to a new level. And um, yeah, I definitely felt that during the, grand, or the, during the final series in general. The cook and the player, Christian Petrarca. Interesting to hear how Track has been able to get it done on the biggest stages of all, despite his own self-doubts and internal battles. So it's conquering the noises above the shoulders that leads to great outcomes, as true for players as it is for traders. So whether it's in the markets or on the field, mastering your mindset is vital to helping you perform at your best. For Melbourne's official trading partner, IG, this is the Melbourne Mindset.